Hi everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing a card reading for the collective to see what's going on today with the DM and DF connection. Uh, don't forget we have the competition still going on. Instagram, Facebook and also on YouTube. Do like, subscribe and I will be choosing someone on the 25th at 4pm Eastern Time to win a free reading on either of my channels. This one or the Pick a Card channel. Alright, let's see what's going on here with the collective. All right. So I do have a new tarot card course coming up. If you want to join that, that will be in April. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Spirit, we have a Queen of Swords. We have some Libra Aquarius. And we also have some Gemini, okay? Um, so someone who is really like in their thoughts, but very brilliant, very intelligent, okay? Um, feel here that this person is trying to figure out what to do next. They feel like they're not sure of what decision to make. And I'm also getting that this has to do with the DM thinking about um, what to do with the comic situation, what to do with the DF situation here. They have that sword in their hand and they have a butterfly. So it's almost, it's a very delicate operation. It's like they need to use that sword, but they shouldn't, you know, harm the butterfly with it, right? And so it's all about them being as witty as possible, weighing the options as possible without waiting too long and without trying to inflict harm in any way to their precious DF. Because the DF here is the butterfly. Okay, so they are in their feminine energy a little bit here. They might be in their feelings more than usual because they're, most, they're more in their heads, right? Because of this air energy. But because they're holding the sword and the butterfly is on the sword, it's like they've stopped for a moment and to think, wow, I need to be careful here because I can't afford to hurt this butterfly. Why? Because you are their essential source of, of light energy, of healing, of inspiration. You are their muse. You are everything. So, you know, they will go as far as they can and then they'll stop. Some of them in their thinking, they'll say, look, I can't do this thing I was thinking about or I can't lie to this person anymore. I can't treat them like this anymore because it will hurt them and they will fly away or they will transform in a way where they will move on from me and I can't afford that. So that's what some of these uh, DMs are thinking here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what else. Conflict with others. So we have the five of ones. Yes, they are in a lot of conflict right now. It's been like this for a while, you know, off and on. Because that's uh, the nature of their karmic load that they're carrying. And we see, it's so funny that this card is in front of four mirrors. And I was talking about mirrors with some of my clients this week about mirror magic about, you know, seeing yourself in the mirror and correcting what you don't like, right? But we can also speak to ourselves in the mirror and say positive things about what we want in the future. We can manifest things into the 3D with the mirror. Okay, and, um, and it's very powerful because the mirror magnifies what it sees in front of it, right? So we see this person fighting in front of the mirror. And I feel here that this person has to walk away from this drama. This DM has to walk away. They have to pick their fights and transform these four mirrors into an instrument that will be used to help them in the future for manifestation and not for negative manifestation but positive manifestation and this message is is really um 
something they need to understand and integrate because so far they have been using it for negative manifestation and to create drama and conflict and storms around them when they could have been creating something much more beautiful and loving. They are awakening. The DM is awakening here. We can see it. Okay. We almost have a, ha well, it is a hangman. We have a hangman here with this awakening card. And they are thinking, they're thinking about what should I do next, spirit? Because they know something is up. They feel that something is about to happen to them. Some sort of transformation is about to take place. They can feel it in their bones. Okay. And um, spirit is saying that your person has all these keys, all these tarot cards, all these necklaces, these feathers. And this feather is um, a message from the angels about them being on the right path, about them being protected. And we also have this saint or this, this type of spirit guide or whoever you want to call it here, watching on. And your person is here. They have two roads, right? So they're awakening. They're going down this road. And it's like almost Alice in Wonderland very soon, going down some rabbit holes, right? So don't be surprised if your person is coming to say that they, um, they need your help understanding this awakening or they want to find out more. They'll be inching it in the conversations. Um, or sending you memes about it, trying to trigger you into sending them a text or, you know, telling them about it. It's going to seem strange because, because they have not been open with this too much. And now it's like a window has opened in their house and they want you to come in through that window. Like it's a small window, but it's open and they want you to come through that window um, to help them with this situation right here. I'm feeling that they're still a bit confused, but they are, they're feeling that a big change is coming, like it's on them, like they can't shake it off. Okay. DM energies here. All right, so we have the emperor, well, sorry, the king of uh, earth in reverse. So they felt for a long time that everything they touched was, you know, was crumbling in front of their eyes. And because this came out in reverse, it's like they were disillusioned and spirit brought them to their knees. They have been humbled. This is what I'm hearing. They have been humbled by spirit. So now they're coming to you like this. My hands have been burnt. I have been humbled. I have been brought to my knees, either financially, either health-wise. There's something going on here that they haven't told you all about. But they have, their ego has taken a hit, like a big hit. And so now this is what, this is what happened for them to come into this state right here, this awakening. So... If you're wondering if they're sincere about, you know, their words towards you, if they say these kinds of things, yes, they are, because they have, they have been through a lot recently and um, they're ready to, to make some changes. They're not, they're not 100% ready to welcome all the change, but they are ready to welcome some change, which could lead to more change later on. They're going to bring up some childhood stories. Mm -hmm. And a past life story for some of you. Okay. I feel they've known you from a past life here. And they felt it from the moment they, they were in contact with your energy. That you were from one of their past lives. And your person here wants to let you know that they, they're going to try to pay you back as much as they can. They feel like they are indebted to you and they feel like they are supposed to give back and they're going to try to give back this time around. 
in the past they have taken from you. And I'm sure that you have felt that. You felt that they were the takers. Even if it wasn't money or anything like that. They were taking your energy. And now it's time for them to give you some of their energy. And also it's time for them to make effort. Instead of you making all the effort, they should be making some of the effort and meeting you halfway, right? They have to meet you halfway. It has to be 50-50 in the giving and the taking, in the thinking, in the loving, in the effort, in the spirituality, in everything, eventually. It's going to take them some time, but it's going to happen because it is necessary for the two of you. Okay, spirit. Let's see what else is going on here. We have a page of fire. So the fire is building. All right, we got some Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. It seems like they're, they want to surprise you. They want to be fearless in front of you. They want to show you that they can be strong and not always complaining, not always the victim, right? So they want to be there for you and they want to surprise you with this gift. We see this tiger, white tiger coming in here. And these butterflies in the distance and this fan, fanning away the negative energy. And they're looking at you like, I'm thinking of you and I want to come towards you. I want to capture your presence. I want to surprise you. I want to steal a kiss. I want to steal a hug. That's what they want to do. They want to, they want to be more spontaneous and childlike with you. Okay, let's see what else is happening get some more messages we have a queen of air okay so more libra energy which this is the second time we see this queen of air in here okay so they're not forgetting that they have this air energy around them and this could also represent some of that karmic energy that's still around them right because um there might be a comic queen of air here. But besides the fact that it says queen, it can also mean that they are in their feminine energy a little bit. Okay. Even though they're still in the air energy, they are in the feminine side of it. So that's why they might be a little bit more intuitive. They might be a little bit more calm. They might be a little bit more um, understanding. Okay. Ooh, that fell out. Fortune's wheel. So they feel like, as I said, something big is going to happen. It's about to happen. Something extraordinary. Something from divine intervention. Something about abundance. About good luck and serendipity. All of this is happening because of this awakening. It's on the awakening card right here. Um, either they're trying to manifest this. Or they got a sign that this is about to happen. Like they just know it. Like it's a knowing. Okay. A clear cognizance. That they are about to get out of their crazy situation. Or they're about to fix their money problems. Or something like that. Right? We have a nine of earth. In reverse. And this is on... This King of Pentacles card. Remember, it was in reverse here also. So this is what they were struggling with that brought them to their knees. Remember? And this is why, you know, things are going to go better this time because they have learned finally how to deal with this situation, this money situation, this health situation, this authenticity situation. They didn't even know who they were anymore they were lying they were putting on a mask they were not being authentic they were losing themselves and because they were losing themselves they were literally making hell for themselves okay and spirit has intervened and says look whatever it is that was happening over here this fortune's wheel is on its way all right, because they have been making an effort here. They have been. 
but this seems like um it seems like it seems like a progress that's going to like the cycle is going to go really really good i'm feeling really a really good cycle is going to come here for your dm and then they might fall back a little bit on it and then it's going to pick up again so it's like um it's like a wavelength it's showing me a wavelength, like up and down, up and down. But it's going to continue to go up. So I think I said this in my reading on Monday, on Tuesday, sorry. I said two steps forward, one step back. That's what I'm feeling here. Then three steps forward, one step back. Then four steps forward, one step back, you see? So it's the wave, but it's going up. So this is a good, this is good. This is really good, okay? All right. We have a page of air and this is them making an effort to plan things out for you like they would just expect you to do everything right expect you to plan things out expect you to um to make the efforts in this relationship expect you to do the research and all of that but now they are saying look i need to get curious i need to put some more energy into this relationship and put in the work too. And so that's what they're willing to do for you. And it's going to happen very soon. Like I feel that they're already starting to do it. Even if you have no communication with them, they're already doing it for you, okay? They're, they're making a plan here, okay? Let's get some messages from Spirit. The Denise Lynn's Travelers deck. So some of you are going to travel very soon um, with or without your DM. Okay, you guys are going to travel. Fresh new way of living energies, transformation and the phoenix. So it's like they're coming out of this dark place into the light like a phoenix rising up. And when they show you that it is for real, or when you start believing it is for real, you will, you will want to reward them for this. And um, Spirit is going to show you that this is, this is the truth because of the way that they show up, like everything would have changed within them. It's very beautiful Phoenix here. One more message for it. Release the control. So they're asking us to release the control and your person as well. Stop trying to control everything sometimes we need to come to the edge and back on this journey with faith knowing just knowing in our hearts in our minds in our bodies that everything is going to work out knowing that this person is for us knowing that spirit will make a way and we can see that um the divine is looking down on us like this looking at us to see how strong our faith is mm -hmm. How strong is your faith? That's the question. When you see this card, release control, how strong is your faith? Maybe this is what you need to be focusing on this week. All right. Okay. So um, I'm going to leave it here for now. Do like subscribe, hit that notification bell for me. And I will bring you more of these. And don't forget all the little competition below. Love and light. Take care.